In this video, we will be talking about one protozoan disease that is malaria. Earlier, it was believed that it is caused by bad air. So it was considered as mal air. So it was given the name malaria. It is a protozoan disease. The causative agent is a protozoan and there are four species. Plasmodium, ovale, plasmodium vivax, plasmodium malari, and plasmodium falciparum. And they cause different types of malaria. Plasmodium ovale, it causes mild tertian malaria. And plasmodium ovale is very, very, very rarely found in India. This one is very, very rare in India. Other three have been reported. Now the next one that is Plasmodium vivax, it causes benign malaria. It is also known as benign tertian malaria. Plasmodium malaria, it causes, causes quartan. Quartan malaria. And falciparum, this is the most dangerous. This malaria which is caused by plasmodium falciparum, it is very serious. It is called malignant malaria. There is one more name. It is also known as cerebral malaria. It is most serious and dangerous. So these are the four different types of plasmodia that we are talking about. Now this uh, protozoan, it is digenetic. Digenetic means it completes its life cycle in two hosts. One host is called primary host and the second is known as the secondary host. Now how do we decide which one is primary and which one is secondary? The host in which sexual reproduction of the parasite takes place is primary host in which sexual reproduction of the parasite takes place. So according to this definition, the primary host is female Anopheles And secondary host is human. Now female Anopheles, it sucks the blood. But the blood is not the food of this Anopheles. And that is why female Anopheles is not a sanguinivore. That means it is not feeding on blood. It requires proteins or amino acids present in, in blood for egg formation. 
and that is why it is not a sanguinivore, it is not a parasite. So here we are replacing this uh, term that is parasite in which the sexual reproduction of the pathogen takes place. So female Anopheles is the primary host in which sexual reproduction of plasmodium will take place and that is why it becomes the primary host. Life cycle of plasmodium is completed in three phases. First is called schizogony. Schizogony basically means multiple fission, asexual reproduction. Multiple fission. And it takes place in two cells. One is liver and second is RBC. So if it is taking place in liver, we call it hepatic schizogony. And if it is taking place in RBC, then we call it hemolytic schizogony or erythrolytic schizogony. This is first stage where multiplication is going to take place. The second stage is called gamogony. Gamogony is gamete formation. And third stage is sporogony. And sporogony will mean spore formation. Now these three stages, schizogony completely takes place in our liver and RBC cells. Gamogony starts in humans but gets completed in female Anopheles. When we draw the life cycle, we'll realize that what happens in which uh, cells. And sporogony completely takes place in female Anopheles. In case of this plasmodium, the infective stage is sporozoid. This is the infective stage. That means when the infection reaches us, the stage which is uh, introduced or injected in our body by this um, female Anopheles is the sporozoid. And now let us talk about three scientists. First scientist is Laveran who discovered the malarial parasite, discovered malarial parasite in RBC. The second scientist is Ronald Ross, who actually gave the malaria mosquito relationship. Malaria mosquito relationship. Earlier, as I said, it was believed that malaria is caused because of bad air, the mal air. Later on, it was realized uh, that it is caused by a protozoan. So this protozoan was discovered in RBC by Leveran. And then there is a relation between this malarial parasite and Anopheles that was given by Ronald Ross. One more scientist, Grassi, he actually gave the life cycle of malarial parasite. Life cycle of plasmodium. So these are three important scientists and their contribution. So when this female Anopheles which has this uh, protozoan, is going to inject it into our body, this is the stage which reaches in. Then 
the stage undergoes asexual reproduction which is called schizogony in liver and RBC. Then gamete formation starts. The stage is going to start in us and then completed in female anopheles, spore formation. And when spores are formed, <coughs> this is the spore. So spore will be formed in the body of female anopheles and this spore will be injected into our body. So diagenetic, it completes its life cycle in two hosts and its life cycle is completed in three phases. Three phases. Schizogony, gamogony and sporogony. Now in the next part we will draw the complete life cycle of plasmodium to understand what happens and then we will understand why that fever is caused. Fever is caused which is associated with release of a toxin which is called hemozoin. So what is that stage where hemozoin is released? What is the reason for that chill which is there before the fever? All those things. So in the next part we will draw the life cycle of plasmodium.